A total of 118 days off will be available for Korean workers throughout 2026, including Saturdays, Sundays, and public holidays, according to the Korea Aerospace Administration's official calendar, with the first extended break coming in February during the Lunar New Year holiday. 우주 항공청이 발표한 20, 2026년도 원력 요항에 따르면 토요일, 일요일, 공휴일을 모두 합해 올해 근로자들이 쉴수 있는 휴일 수는 총 118일이며 이중첫 연휴는 2월에 있을 설 연휴인 것으로 알려졌습니다. It's very important at the start of the year for a lot of people to check their calendars to see <웃음> how many holidays, how many long weekends we'll be getting and it looks like we'll have a total of 118 days altogether the first long break being Next month. Yeah. Now, this is actually shorter or okay. less than the year before. Ah. So, last year in 2025, mm. there was actually one day more. There okay. was 119 <laughs> uh, mm. days that were available. However, uh, there are actually eight holidays that are now lasting more than three consecutive days when you factor in weekends uh, and you know days leading up when you add them together compared to just six of those instances in mm. 2025. So while we did get an extra day off last year, we have uh, two more times where we have at least three days off together. Okay. So like uh -huh. uh, we'll call that a long weekend, right? Like yeah, if you a had, long if weekend. You, yeah. If you had a Wednesday off as a holiday, mm. it's not quite as nice is if it's a Monday or a Friday. Exactly. 자, 그러니까 어, 주말 앞뒤로 이렇게 공휴일이 붙어 있으면은 좀긴 연휴를 즐길 수 있게 되잖아요. 영어로는 이거를 long weekend holiday 아니면 그냥 long weekend라고 하는데요. 아, 그런 연달아 3일 쉴수 있는 휴일이 작년보다 올해는 더 많습니다. 전체적인 휴일수는 작년보다 한해 줄었지만 그래도 좀롱 위켄드를 즐길 수 있는 경우는 많다고 하니까 이거 적극 활용하고 지금부터 계획을 짜면 될것 같네요. 아마 이미 계획 짜고 어, 예약하신 분들도 많이 계실 겁니다. All right, tell us more. Let's have a look at, yeah, um, let's see, being available yeah. expressions, yeah. If you're available, then you are free. Um, a, a person uh, being available means that uh, you are free or you don't have uh, something that you have to do. But for something to be available, to be taken, it means that you can take this or this mm. can be yours. There's nothing preventing this from being yours. So it, it's uh, available for you to have mm. or uh, in the same sort of way, a person can be available. So I'm available to you. So this time slot is available for me. 그렇죠. 무엇이 이용 가능한 상태다. That something is available. 사람이 available 하다 그러면 은이 사람이 지금 시간이 있다. Are you available right now? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, What do you yeah. need? <laughs> 이런 식으로 지금 시간 되세요 할 때도 쓸수 있는 표현입니다. 실제로 주 5일째 근무를 하신 분들 기준으로 말씀을 드리면은요 공휴일 70일, 그 다음에 토요일 52일입니다. 합하면은 122일의 휴일처럼 보이기는 하는데. 근데 이번에 사실 현충일, 광복절, 그 다음에 추석 연휴 마지막 날과 개천절이 토요일과 겹쳐요. 그래서 실질적으로는 이제 쉬게 되는 게 118일이 되겠습니다. So we will have 118 days off. Those will be the days available to us. To take off. And I think they choose the word available specifically in this article as opposed to saying that these are days off because <gasps> some people still do work on yeah. those holidays. So mm -hmm. even though it's available to them, they might not necessarily actually take the days off. So it's saying that you could, it's mm -hmm. possible, mm -hmm. it's for you. By, That's a good point. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you can take mm -hmm. the days off. I mean, uh, for a choose. lot of people, 그렇죠. Mm -hmm. uh, 그때 쉴수 있다. 그렇지만 실질적으로는 또 이렇게 공휴일에 일하시는 분들도 많이 계시기 때문에 그래서 영어로는 그냥 무조건 쉰다라고 하는 게 아니라 쉴수 있다라는 available를 썼네요. 
자, 그 다음에는 extended break 볼까요? Yeah, something that is extended means that it is longer. Mm. So when we're talking about the break, uh, break being time off, yep. uh, time off of work or time off of school, well, when it says extended break, it's not, like I said, just one day off. This is going to be multiple days off. So mm. when we're talking about maybe having a Wednesday off is one thing, but if you have Friday, Saturday, Sunday off or Saturday, Sunday, Monday, off or with the the lunar new year holiday um i, I think it's actually like uh saturday sunday monday tuesday wednesday uh five straight days off in a row like that that's an extended break it's longer mm. than just a normal three-day holiday yeah extended는요 늘린다 라는 뜻입니다. 그래서 extend는요 시간이나 아니면은 또 뭐를 extend 할수 있죠? I mean you're doing it right now with your 응. hands. You're extending 아. your hands out or you're extending your arms. 그죠 길이. 어, 실질적으로 뭔가 제가 지금 손으로도 이렇게 쭉 늘어뜨리는 <웃음> 이런 제스처를 하고 있는데 예, 길게 하다 아니면 시간을 늘리다 이게 extending입니다. 앞서서 우리가 exceeding을 봤죠? exceeding 그러면 넘어서다. 이렇게 넘다 이런 뜻이에요. 그래서 무엇 이상일 때 쓰는 게 exceed라면 extend는 이렇게 늘린다라는 뜻이고 하나만 더 언급하자면 은 부피가 늘어날 때는 요 expand라고 하죠. 더 커지는 겁니다. 그럴 때는. 자, 다시 한번 읽어볼게요. A total of 118 days off will be available for Korean workers throughout 2026, including Saturdays, Sundays, and public holidays, according to the Korea Aerospace Administration's official calendar, with the first extended break coming in February during the Lunar New Year holiday. Here's our next headline. Korean mathematician Baek Jin Un has gained international recognition for solving a geometry problem that had defied proof for nearly six decades. The U.S. magazine Scientific American naming his work among the top 10 mathematical breakthroughs of 2025. 한국인 수학자 백진원이 60년 가까이 증명되지 않던 기하학 난제, 소파 움직이기 문제를 해결해 세계의 이목을 끈 가운데 미국 과학 전문지 Scientific American이 이 연구를 2025년 10대 수학 혁신 중 하나로 선정했습니다. Well, good news for people in the maths. Industry and uh, good news for Korea. Tell us more. Yeah, so the problem that he solved, I guess, it's sort of like if you're moving mm. and you have like an L shaped hallway, or a, let's say a hallway that bends at a 90 degree angle, right. and you've got to move something around it. What's the biggest thing that you could actually move past the L-shaped corner mm. was the problem that he solved. And I guess okay. uh, there, there have been theories um, that kind of said, well, this is what we believe. But I guess the issue with uh, the mathematics in the past was they couldn't actually have the hard evidence or the proof as to, well, this is exactly why. Mm. It's one thing to know the answer or roughly, but then to actually know why something is the way it is, is yep. I believe what uh, Mr. Beck uh, solved. 음, 그렇군요. 어, 소파 움직이기 아, 그 난제, 문제. 영어로는 moving sofa problem이라고 하는데요. 이거를 crack 했다라고 표현할 수 있죠. 이렇게 어려운 문제를 풀었을 때. Yes. You've solved yeah. the problem of cracked the um, I guess what what would you say here? Crack the problem. Um, it's like it's not a code, but you know, it's like it was something that was unsolved for mm-hmm. a very long time. Yeah. Mm. Cracking Enigma, the, uh, the the problem in World War II, the, the coding device that the Germans used was something that uh, they always talked about. How do we crack Enigma? Mm. It's sort of like cracking an egg. Yeah, exactly. Mm, 그래요. And by the way, uh, so Baek Jin On, like you think when you, when you think of a person solving a math problem, mm. I imagine like this gray-haired professor or something like that. <laughs> but uh, Baek Jin is only 31 years old. Mm. Yeah, he's a, a researcher. So the fact that uh, he's as young as he was as well, I'm very uh, surprised. He's also uh, a fellow at the Hojuni Suak Nanje Yongguso. And of course, Hojuni Yosu was the first Korean American uh, to win the Fields Award, which is like the Nobel Prize in math mathematics. Mm. 
그래서 우리 허준희 교수 여러분 다 기억하시죠? 필즈상을 최초로 한국계 수학자로서 받은 분인데 어 이게 이 허준희 수학 난제 연구소의 박사인 아 이번 백진언 박사가 어 이렇게 또 수학계에서 또또 음, <웃음> 또 다른 한국의 자랑거리가 됐습니다. 자, 한번 표현 볼게요. to defy proof We've talked about uh, defy uh, quite often, and of course, when you defy something, you're doing something against what you're asked to do or uh, what is common knowledge, I suppose. So in mm. this particular case, we're talking about proof or evidence. So um, as I mentioned, it's something where they've kind of had a rough idea of what people believed the correct answer to be on this, but what, what they didn't have was they didn't have the actual proof. They didn't mm. have the evidence, the, the reason where you can, you can calculate something out and say, this is why we believe this. So mm. it defied proof for a long time. time, uh, people couldn't figure out the why. And that's why people couldn't solve it in, yeah. in the, from a mathematical standpoint. That's why it defied proof. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it didn't make sense from a proof or evidence standpoint. Yeah, I think of the musical Wicked when I look at the word defy, because there's a song about defying gravity mm -hmm. and how the witch, the main character uh, in Wicked, she obviously flies, which is defying gravity. 그때는 중력을 거스르다라는 뜻이 있죠. 그런데 이 defy라는 게 그런 뜻이에요. 뭔가를 이제 멀리하다 거스르다 원래랑은 좀 반대 느낌으로 간다는 느낌이 있거든요. 그렇다면 은 proof, 증명하는 것을 defy한다는 건 뭐냐면 증명이 되지 않는다는 뜻이에요. 한 60년 동안 입증을 할수 없었던, 풀수 없었던 이 문제를 바로 백진원 박사가 이번에 풀면서 어, 대단한 성과를 잃었죠. This was a breakthrough. A breakthrough is when you make a, a sudden progress. Mm. So think of um, having like you're trying to do something, but you're stuck at a wall mm. or like a brick wall or a, or a door. There's okay. something that is preventing you from progressing any further or preventing you from reaching your goal. So if you break down that door or break through the wall, then you're going through mm. what was preventing your progress. So you are no longer standing still, but you are now progressing once mm. again. You're going through, you're moving forward. 돌파구라는 뜻인데요. 어, 이렇게 이미지를 선생님 설명 듣고 나니까 그리게 되네요. A breakthrough. 다시 읽어보겠습니다. Korean mathematician Baek jin has gained international recognition for solving a geometry problem. that had defied proof for nearly six decades, with U.S. magazine Scientific American naming his work among the top 10 mathematical breakthroughs of 2025. Let's move on to the final headline. An ingenious businessman in China has drawn praise from both customers and netizens for using everyday items such as socks, mouse pads, and even underwear as clothing tags to deter exploitative returns and boost sales. 의류를 판매하는 중국의 한 개발한 사업가가 의류 태그로 양말, 마우스 패드, 심지어 속옷 같은 일상용품을 사용하는 아이디어로 반품 정책 악용 사례를 막고 매출은 높이자 고객과 누리꾼 모두 긍정적인 반응을 보였습니다. Tell us more about this. Yeah, so I guess in China, there's um, different e-commerce platforms that have a seven-day return policy okay. without question. So it mm. uh, doesn't matter what the reason is. If you want to return it within seven days, then the, um, the, the person selling you the item has to return it or has to receive it uh, back. So some buyers have been taking advantage of that. And they've been kind of buying something, taking pictures of wearing the items for clothing, mm. and then returning it automatically so that they're not spending anything, but they get to have these photos in the clothes at least once. Um, to have the item. So uh, this has been a way that um, business people have been, or this particular businessman anyways, has been able to kind of uh, thwart that by using these unusual tags. Yeah. Does that mean 
it's harder to return? I think um, what it would be, I mean, you can still return it because mm. it's still seven days, no questions asked. But I think from the um, the people that are posting these photos online, because it's a lot of influencers, I think, that are trying to take advantage of it. So it sort of um, highlights them because mm. the tags are so unique uh-huh, and different it. and okay. it, they stand out. So, mm. so people are like, hey, wait a minute, did you do this? And, mm. you know, it's very obvious. Uh-huh. 아, 그러니까 옷을 사서 소셜 미디어 같은데 이제 사진을 찍어 가지고 올리고 그 다음에 반품을 하는 이 반품 악용 사례들이 여러 건 있었다고 합니다. 그래서 굉장히 독특한 방식으로 옷의 태그를 지금 얘기한 뭐 양말이라든지 마우스 패드 등등 아주 그 유니크한 방식의 태그를 옷에다가 부착을 함으로써 이게 사진에 다 드러난 나는 형식인 거죠. 그러니까 누가 봐도 아, 이 옷이 저 옷이구나. 이거를 반품을 하게 되면은 가게에서도 어, 이거 사진 찍으시지 않으셨어요? 뭐 이런 식으로 좀 찾아낼 수 있는 모양이죠. 네, 그런 논리인 것 같습니다. 그래서 실제로 반품이 굉장히 많이 줄어들었대요. 이런 시스템이 도입된 이후로. 자, 표현을 좀 볼게요. It's ingenious. 그건 이제 굉장히 기발하다. And it's drawn praise. If uh, you're given praise or drawing praise for something, then people are looking up to you and they're saying, well, that's great. Mm. They're essentially um, saying good things about you. Right. And in this case, you can give praise to someone, but if it's something that you've done, then you can draw that praise out of them. Right. To draw something, 뭔가 끌어내다 라는 뜻이 있는데, 찬사를 끌어내는 거니까 찬사를 받다. What about to deter something? If you're deterring something, then you're making, you're giving a reason to make people not do something. Mm. So normally people are doing this thing that you don't want them to do, mm. but you're giving them a reason, you're doing something to make them not do that. 자, deter는 그만두게 한다라는 뜻입니다. D-E-T-E-R. 다시 읽어볼게요. An ingenious businessman in China has drawn praise from both customers and netizens for using everyday items such as socks, mouse pads, and even underwear as clothing tags to deter exploitative returns and boost sales. All right. Well, that's it for the headlines this morning.